Hello and welcome to vlog two. So it is the second week of me doing my vlog. The week before I went to France, I actually did start vlogging, but it didn't really work. So whilst I tuck into my sriracha eggs, I'm gonna show you some clips of a photo shoot I did with Danny Beard, who won RuPaul's Drag Race season four. Uh, so this is a studio shoot for the winner's tour. Here's the tour poster. So these are all the photos from that. It was a small little vlog. I did it before I started doing it weekly, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna tuck into this. Let's see how this is. Look at that. But yeah, whilst you guys watch that, I'll eat this and then I'll join you afterwards. It's Wednesday, I've just come from the gym, heading home now. I've got a photo shoot later. I've got it in a photography studio, so I'll bring you along for that and get kind of behind the scenes and I'll show you what uh, equipment I'm using. Anyway, I'm gonna head home, have uh, another coffee. See you in a bit. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. Cheers. Right, I've arrived at the studio. So I've just gotten into the studio. So we're in a nice cove here and I'm just kind of setting up all my equipment. Camera's in here, laptop, the studio. So, I was gonna set this down. I'm gonna start setting up because we're on a bit of a time crunch. I'll talk you through what gear I'm using in a second. But yeah, it's gonna get rolling. Strike in the studio, mostly set up. We've got laptop and then my camera. So I've got the Sony A7 Mark IV with the Sigma 24 to 70, 2.8, beautiful lens. And then uh, I use the Godox system, but this is the in-house trigger. And then these strobes are Bowen's XMS 500s. So I've never used these before, first time. Just trying to figure out how to use the system. And then we've got one constant light source from newer. This is again the studios. And this is gonna be sort of a headlight. So this has got uh, dish with a uh, quite a fine grid, but we're gonna probably change this out depending on what happens with the actual shoot. So we'll kind of wait for that and see, but otherwise, this is everything. And that is the shoot done. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes. I might do a little bit of a editing tutorial. It kind of depends on how the vlog's structured. See what's going on. But for the end of the week, it is at a club I work at, Cruise 101 in Manchester's Gay Village. It is that Babylon night from Queer as Folk, uh, like a 90, big like 90s TV show. So they do a night where it is the club that was in the TV show. So I'm gonna be strapping you guys to my chest and the plan is to do a point of view video, kind of shoot in some of the shots, a load of lasers. I'll walk you through it kind of close to the time. I'm here in the dressing room for one of the clubs that I work for, Via. So I'm just kind of getting my stuff ready for later. It is the second night of Babylon, so I shot last night. I didn't really feel much. My mate's here, so I didn't want to you know, interrupt too much, but we cooked some food earlier today. So we cooked some food from the Asian supermarket, walked around made like a black bean uh, beef rice thing. So now I'm here, I am looking at all my equipment. So I've got my two cameras, I've got my Sony A7 Mark IV with the 1635, I'm gonna be shooting photos on this, but because there's loads of lasers later tonight at the, at the club, 
I'm gonna shoot on my A7 Mark III. So this has a bunch of sensor damage because of lasers, which is annoying because you know, it's still a great camera. I have two of these and then one of these. This is my first kind of mirrorless camera. This is what I started everything on. But yeah, it's beaten up, it's really beaten up. So it means I can get some photos of lasers and if something happens to it, it's not too bad. It's got like 170,000 shutter count, so it's like crazy. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna be shooting on this probably with the 16 to 35, we'll kind of see. Um, I wanna shoot some videos, so I also wanna use this. Depends on if there's lasers or not. Then I'm gonna be using this camera, the Osmo Pocket 3, but we're gonna see. There's a spin shot mode where you can like spin it like that. Well, that, do that doesn't really work. But yeah, so that is the plan actually at the moment. We're gonna see what the lighting's like. If it's anything like yesterday, then I know I'm safe to use my A7 IV, but if not, be using this downstairs i'll definitely be using this so i might film some videos on it or i've got my nd filter thing for my phone won't be using the nd aspect of it but i'll be using the promis filter that's there but we'll see we'll see it all should be good i've also got some filters for this that have arrived so i'm gonna try them as well but yeah i'll show you another week via and how how that runs but anyway i'll catch you soon and we'll see you at babylon Hello, hello, hello. Might seem obvious uh, looking at the video here, but the audio didn't really work. It's a bit too loud. But anyway, I'm going to talk over. So basically what I'm talking about here is that I'm using my A7 Mark III, which has laser damage from clubs. I was a bit naive when I first started professionally. Laser looked cool and I was taking pictures. It was my first mirrorless camera, so I didn't know that it was going to damage it. You can still use it, but it's got 170,000 shutter count. So it's like... It's, it's had its full life. It's actually more than I think what is recommended for the, the camera anyway. So it doesn't really matter if it gets too much more damaged. I mainly shoot my A7 Mark IVs now, but I definitely do not shoot lasers on them. For this night, I know it's heavy on the lighting and stuff like that, and it's a regular client. So I'm happy to kind of make the compromise. It didn't actually get more damaged. You know, I'm still very careful about shooting behind, making sure I'm not shooting too much directly into them. But it's important to have this balance. If you've got damaged equipment that you can use, get something for a client that will make them happy. There's like this, 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 this balance between those two things. So I think it's always important to notice that, but I will not be shooting any lasers on my A7 Mark IVs. I've got two of them and it's not happening. So exclusive on the A7 Mark III. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So we'll cut back to when you can actually hear me in the vlog, which is now. Good morning. It is Sunday. It is the next day, or well, technically the the same day, but uh, yeah, so it's the next day. Um, I haven't gone through the pictures yet, but I'm gonna start importing them into, into my uh, laptop, kind of getting them all in their folders, all organized, kind of sorted, ready for editing. I need to go through to Via and Cruise or Babylon. I want to have a look at the video footage. Hopefully that works. Fingers crossed. Um, I don't really know if I got enough of the right shots, but I'm kind of hoping that, hoping I got something good. I think, I think I got something. So I just need to double check. But yeah, we're about to head out for a brunch. Gonna meet my mate's friends who live here. We can go for, with them to Sugar Junction, which is one of my favorite places in the Northern Quarter. Oh, 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 oh,